Thanks for staying with South Africa tonight. Now, it's a little over a month before South Africans go to the polls to pick the people who will form the new government. For the first time in the country's history, independent candidates who are not aligned to any political party will also contest national and provincial elections. There are also 52 parties who will be on the ballot paper. We look at the political landscape and the emergence of the Mkondo Esizwe party. Joining me in studio is political analyst Moeletsi Mbeki. Thank you so much for your time this evening, Mr Mbeki, and thanks for coming into studio. Great to be here. Great. Uh, let's maybe just start off uh, um, with uh, the news that came in today of the death of Mr. Peko, how will you remember him? Well, he, he was a very dynamic leader. He was a very outspoken leader. I knew him quite well. Uh, I know members of his family, so really my condolences go out to his family. Mm. And he will be missed in our political landscape. Let's speak about that. I mean, the PAC offered so much, but it never seemed to really get the support or achieve the popular support. Where do you think uh, they went wrong? Well, the, the, the big mistake that the PAC made was it got so preoccupied with land ownership. It got preoccupied that the Afrikaners own the land and therefore they should write that situation and the land should go to the Africans. That was one of their big South Africans, however, the majority of South Africans live in urban areas. They don't want agricultural land. So that was the central big mistake of, of, of the PAC. They think that the, the population, want, the, the black population, is aggrieved about their ancestors having lost land to, to the Afrikaners.